guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I've got oh, a messy sweater, a super fun Dollar Tree haul for you. I hit a couple Dollar Trees after physical therapy tonight and I have some tea in my Fox mug. I have some chai tea with a little cream and a cinnamon stick tonight. Mm. It's getting cold here in Ohio. All right, let's get started. I've got a bunch of Christmas stuff. Um, first thing I did is I picked up five of these. These are called Treat Me Bath Bursts. They don't say a scent on them. Um, but they're just bath bombs. So with my little cousin, uh, we are doing in December gingerbread houses and with her friends. And so I'm making some little pamper me gift bags for the girls. So I got them each a bath bomb and I thought that was fun. They had different shapes, but I wanted to cry, try to keep them all the same. So I just got them all the ball, the round one for that. So I grabbed five of those. Um, I found tins. I'm kind of obsessed with tins and I really don't know why, but I love them. Look at this one. It has the campers on it and it has the clear, oh, sorry for the reflection, the clear top. These are great for cookies to give to folks because you can see what's in there. Um, I love giving cookies in these. So I just grabbed the one because I have some other ones to gift before I go stocking up, but I wanted this one for my house. Um, I won't, well, I could put my own keto cookies in here. I probably won't, but I could. You could put tea in here. You could put anything. It's just cute. And then I know exactly what I'm doing with this one. Do you see the coffee and the hot cocoa? This one, it says comfort and joy is going to hold my holiday teas when I put them out on the counter or maybe my K-cups, one or the other. Uh, but this is definitely going on my coffee bar for the winter. Uh, last Christmas, and I can do another one this year if, you, if there's an interest. Um, I did a gift in one of these tins. I filled it with packets of hot cocoa, and it was all from the Dollar Tree. Um, marshmallows, candy canes, and packets of hot chocolate. And then I bought a movie, not from the Dollar Tree. And I gifted it to a family for like a movie night. Actually, I had the kids to my house and we watched the movie and then I gifted them the movie. Um, their own copy because I owned the movie. We watched the Polar Express and then I bought them their own copy of that movie. And I sent them home with their own hot chocolate kit for the kids. So they could do that at home and they really enjoyed it. And I think that's a great gift to give a family that necessarily you don't want to buy all the kids a present Give them a night, give them a movie, give them some hot cocoa, maybe a, a tin of cookies and let them kind of make their own evening of it. Mm. I'm freezing. So I thought that was a fabulous idea. And if I had children, I would enjoy that for sure. Um, I picked up some Christmas cards. They're out at one of my stores and these says happy holidays. May you enjoy a most magical and memorable holiday season. Um, and these come with 14 cards because I am doing a Christmas card exchange again this year. I did that last year. It was so much fun. Um, I will do a formal video on it, but my PO box is in the drop down box below. Any card I receive, I send one right back. Excuse me. And it goes out much faster than my prizes, but I do my Christmas cards for sure. And I love getting cards from all over the place and sending them out. So um, I just wanted to stock up and I thought these were cute. I will have to buy more, I know, but this is what I've picked up so far. I just saw them and I love Santa Claus. I found, hold on to your hat, kids, Red Truck Wide Ribbon. This is the, I think it's two and a half inches by nine feet. <gasps> Do you see that? And it says Merry Christmas and it has the red truck and I'm obsessed. So I grabbed two of those to make a pretty bow or something. I don't know. It's wire ribbon. It makes a great bow. Um, so I grabbed two. I do not need ribbon. Like I don't need ribbon in my life, but 
Did I mention that it has the red truck on it with the Christmas tree? So I bought it. Super cute. Two of those. I am not buying a bunch of ribbons because I have a bunch of ribbons. So, but I didn't have any with red trucks. Duh. Okay, back to the girls. Um, I had purchased the three packs of nail polish. I think it's called Glow and it comes in, there's three little bottles in each. I had bought them a while ago. And so I'm giving each of the girls one of those. So I got a little nail file. I will show the gift bag how I package them up here soon. Um, but I will put a nail polish and a nail file. And if I can find the um, nail polish remover, not from the Dollar Tree, those don't work. It's Q-Tex brand and they are portable. They come in like a alcohol swab, but it's nice. I've used them, I have some but I tend to save those and use it when I go on vacation in case I need to take my polish off. But I'm on the hunt for those because I could put a couple wipes, a nail file and a nail polish in a little bag and put that down into their gift bag. So I grabbed a three pack of these, two, three packs of those to go into their little gift bags. And basically the stuff in the gift bag is all the things I've been hauling for Sarah at CVS couponing because yes I still coupon it's just there's so many CVS videos out that I didn't think it was necessary for me to recreate the wheel so I don't do those videos anymore but I do still coupon so I had this big shopping bag full of couponing stuff for Sarah's advent calendar another video coming up soon and I went through it picked out the things that I'm giving Sarah and all the extras I'm giving a lot of them to the girls so I didn't really buy much. I did buy some bath bombs, but, um, another thing, guys, please look at this. It's plastic, but it has the Christmas trees and it says farm fresh Christmas trees on it. It's just a little bucket. It's not huge. I, I'm in love. I love it. So what I'm going to do with this I already know where this is going. It's going to go on my end table. I have a basket there now, but this is going to go for Christmas to hold my remotes and things on my end table just to keep everything kind of together. I like to have a basket for that. And, ooh, I've got a cat and a candle. That's Alex. I'll get him here in a second. Um, yeah, so I thought this would be perfect on my end table and I'll put like Probably a little, uh, those little metal buckets to hold my remotes, pens. I just like some knitting stuff because I keep it on my end table and I'm obsessed with this bucket. So, and they only had one. I literally like stumbled upon it. So I grabbed that. Um, you could also use it to hold your Christmas cards. They would fit perfect in there. I have a little Christmas card obsession. So I have an entire box. I'm about to take you on a tour of my Christmas card collection. Because if I buy, here's my thing. I'm going to justify for a moment. If I buy like three or four of these and there's a couple of this card and a couple of that card left, I'm not going to throw them away. I put them in my box. And over the years, I just have a variety of single cards and stuff. It's true. All right, let me go down here. Okay. Now... I have two of the witch's hats of the metal frame and I want to make an elf and I want to make a Santa hat. So I picked up the materials to do the elf hat. It's this, wire, I think this is wire rimmed, is it? This is burlap ribbon. I don't know if this is, oh, it's not wire rimmed. That's good because I would have to pull the wire out. Not wire edged um it's nine feet two and in, two inches wide and i picked up four of these i don't know how much i'm gonna need to cover that wire frame and then they had this green grow game which i just love grow game ribbon this is my favorite ribbon and this is four and a half meters or five yards and it's five eighths width i don't know if i'll need it for christmasing but it's green i love green and i love grow game um if you don't know what grow game is i'm not sure if i can get it to focus but it's the ribbon that has the little lines in it it's a very sturdy ribbon and you can melt the ends and it won't fray i love that um, but i grabbed four of these to do the elf hat and then i think i just need some felt i think that's all i'm gonna need we'll see when it comes together here hopefully i will have that out next week i'm super busy this weekend but we'll see what i can get done 
And then I picked up one of these pom-pom keychains for the Santa hat. I was just going to make one, but I was like, oh, no, that's so easier. And if you have any from Easter of the bunny tails, that would be a perfect pom-pom for the Santa hat. But I did not. And so this is on an elastic. So probably I would just take some metal cutters or scissors and cut this off and it'll glue on or if i'm feeling fun we really could just hook it with this clip on the end of the santa hat and let it dangle we'll see but for now i got a white pom-pom keychain to make for the pom-pom on the end of santa's hat so this is all that's all stuff for some future diys that i need to get moving on but I need to find red burlap or red ribbon or red something. I haven't found. I just don't want to use deco mesh. I'm not a huge fan of the deco mesh. Um, that's me. Your mileage may vary. You could, if you love it, go for it. I, I'm just not a fan of it. It doesn't go with my house. Okay. Um, these are for me. I finally found the fox socks. Please, people, look at these socks. They had sloths and they had raccoons, I believe, but I just wanted the foxes and I love this orange color and I think these socks are adorable. I need to, yes, I switch out my socks. Um, my summer socks are all no-show, like ankle, little ankle socks and all my winter socks are higher and I haven't pulled my winter socks out yet, but I will. But these are adorable and I can't wait to wear them. And as I say all the time, these are size five to nine. Sometimes I do see ones that are bigger in the women's socks. Um, these are not, unfortunately, but that's okay. Um, it's for the Christmas gift giving. I had hauled before a red one of these, but I grabbed the white one. These are a nice soup mug. Um, you could put some soup mix, like a packaged soup mix in the middle and wrap it up as a gift. I bought the mug cakes and I had two mug cakes, so I thought two mugs. These would be perfect for mug cakes. They are perfect for, like I said, you could put a soup, dry soup mix in here and gift it to somebody. Really anything. Chili mix. But I'm using these for the, well, the cake, the... Mug cake will probably stand up behind it and then I will fill this with like cookies or candy or something and gift it. But I had a red one and I wanted a white one. And you could also, and I may Cricut on here, but we'll see how that works and how my timing goes. I need to get out my work gift video soon too. Um, that's coming up. I have a lot of videos coming up. I just need to find the time. Oh, my ear. Is anybody else experiencing like allergies? My out, look at my eyeballs. My allergies are so bad right now. I'm sorry. I was off topic, but I'm just allergy ridden. Okay, last bag. Not a lot in here, but cute. I found two of these signs and this does have some glitter on it. And this one says, believe in the magic of Christmas. It will hang. If you want, it will sit. Um, what I tend to do with these is put a um, thumbtack because they, they sit nice on it. Unless I put it on a shelf or a table. And then there's a matching one that says let it snow. And I just love these. I think they're very simple and that's what I like. I don't love the glitter. Um, somebody asked me what I seal things with. You can either use hairspray. But like my signs that I made, I have a spray um spray can of sealant I couldn't even tell you the brand or the name but um I can go over it with that but something like this I'll probably just use hairspray um but when I did my painted signs you don't want to really want to use hairspray on that that wouldn't work but I loved these and I think they would look adorable like hung on a wall like a thin wall stacked up like that maybe I have a small little wall that I could hang these on and it's just a very basic red white I like these you can also totally take some scrapbook paper sand off this glitter and make these your own which I may do that too but I kind of just like these how they are but we'll see what my mood is another day um 
Same thing with this. I love this. I absolutely just love it the way it is. There's no glitter on this. Well, maybe. Um, yeah, there's a tiny bit of glitter, but nothing to speak of. Um, I just love it. I, I don't think I need to do anything to this. I think it's just going to hang up somewhere or sit somewhere. I just love it. And they have this one and they have Santa Claus. Um, but you can totally make it your own and paint the back. Why not? And if I decide to do that, I will probably buy another one. This may end up in my bedroom. Um, I do my bedroom in Buffalo Chuck. I have a tour from last year. I will show you this year if I do something different. Uh, but I have the black and red Buffalo Chuck uh, bedspread. And I have black and gray pillowcases. And then I put garland on my headboard. And I feel like this would accent my room. So I got this one. <gasps> and look what I found. Uh, this one is a glitter balm, but look at it. It's the camper, guys, With and it's carrying a snowman on the top. I mean, a snowman. Christmas tree, maybe? And it does hang if you want, or it can sit. I have not found the truck. Um, Bethany, I think her name is. She has a channel. Yes, something Bethany. Bethany. Um, had a good idea of somehow attaching this to the back of the red truck. Um, you know, it, this is going to get sprayed with more than just hairspray because if you can see the glitter on this thing, I haven't decided if I'm going to possibly, I should have bought two in case I messed one up, but like take it apart and repaint it and get rid of the glitter. I don't know if I find another sign, if I come across another one, I may do that and just pop the, you know, pop the pieces off, sand it down and repaint it to match something different. I don't know, but for now, and it says season's greetings and I love it. I love it with the glitter, but I just, I'm kind of over all the glitter for the holidays. Says the person who just bought this. <laughs> I have never seen these before at the Dollar Tree. You get five cedar picks. Um, and they are they had them in gold, silver, and red. I wanted the gold. And they're just on a floral wire. And it's they're covered in glitter. But I will tell you, I don't see a lot of glitter at the bottom. I don't. I don't see a lot of fallout with these, but I think these are going to be beautiful at any greenery project that you put together. I'll probably kick myself for not getting two, but I think one is sufficient for my life. You can just lay them on your mantle. Um, sometimes I put a uh, green garland on my mantle and this would look good to slid in. A lot of times I don't like to permanently attach my greenery. I just stick it in there for the holidays and then disassemble things. And then I have a box of just greenery. And then the last thing I got, and it's a two things, are these stars. These are plastic, and these are not glittered. Um, they have them in the glitter, but I wanted the not glittered. And I think what I'm going to do is glue them together to make one solid star and hang this from my front porch, my overhang, hang it from the ceiling. So if it's turning, it's just a gold star. Um, and there's no front and back to it, if that makes sense. And I have, I would just use the fix-all and my clip clamps and or clothespins. This is not, you know, heavy duty. I think clothespins would work, binder clips would work. Just glue it and clamp it together and let it be, and it will become one piece. And I like this. You could totally paint this too. It is in gold. Um, the glittered ones came in red and gold, but they are super glittered. And um, I think they're metal or like a tin, but this is plastic, and this is what I wanted. Um, but you can paint this red, black, whatever, but I'll just leave it. So this is all I had, which I think was a good haul for you know the beginning of the Christmas season. I want the red truck. I need the red truck in my life, but if I don't find it, so be it. Because I'm loving also these, the um, old-fashioned camper and, you know, anything coffee, duh. 
So let me know what you think about a Christmas card exchange. Um, I also was thinking about doing, I don't know how I would facilitate it. I guess that's the problem. But some type of gift exchange. But I think that might be a slippery slope. Um, because obviously I can't exchange gifts with everybody who sends me a gift. So that wouldn't work. Um, not that I'm asking for gifts because I'm not. But what I'm saying is if it wouldn't be just me exchanging with 50 people. Somehow pairing up partners and y'all work it out who sends you what. Because I thought it would be so fun to send like an Ohio themed something. And maybe what I'll do is just create an Ohio themed giveaway box of gift things that are like Buckeyes and Ohio stuff. Um, not Buckeyes the football team, but Buckeyes the candy and stuff like that. So we'll see. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I just don't know how I would organize a gift exchange and I would feel terrible if somebody didn't get a gift that they sent a gift to. So that's also something I don't want. I don't want that to happen to anybody, but there's time. So yeah, we'll come up with something, but definitely Christmas card exchange. Definitely. That's a given. I have my PO box ready to go. It's waiting for cards. And obviously I started buying them already. All right, guys, well, I've been blabbing for 20 minutes. All right. You have a good one and I will talk to you later. Bye.